And Halloween kicks off this fall holiday season, something long-term care facilities couldn't really celebrate last year. But with the COVID-19 vaccine, this year is already off to a much better start. And News 19's Marcus Arsval learned how the booster shot is improving more than just immunity to the virus. But Marcus, is it improving morale? Yeah, medical professionals who've studied infectious diseases say that vaccines make symptoms much less severe for our vulnerable community inside those nursing home walls. Life inside Riverside Transitional Care is much different now that there's a COVID-19 vaccine. Very joyful. It's not Claudia's first time surviving a pandemic. I remember when the polio vaccination came about. Those who didn't get it are crippled today but those who got it are able to walk around. Claudia says she'll get the vaccine booster. My son advised me to do that so I won't have to be on a ventilator. It's not mandated, so like Claudia, it's up to other residents and their family members. You have to decide what's best for you and your loved one. You know, if you are okay with risking your loved one and potentially having them sick and in the hospital and possibly die, that's your choice. Anyone who enters the building who is not fully vaccinated brings with them the risk of bringing COVID into this facility. And so getting the third dose of the vaccine is just an added layer of protection for this most vulnerable population in our community. Dr. Cogbill says once we've reached herd immunity, the vaccine will become an annual regular health practice like the flu shot. Experts are predicting this will become endemic and we will not be getting three doses a year for the rest of our lives most likely. A booster to minimize virus spread and battle the spread of misinformation. You know, I understand that people struggle with the idea of being controlled and with the idea of being told what to do, especially if they haven't been personally affected. You know, I hope that our community sees the importance of contributing to the greater good and of shortening this pandemic. And I, I hope that everyone understands that they have individual power to shorten this pandemic by getting the vaccine. For now, Wisconsin DHS says you should get a booster dose two months after receiving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine or six months after you got the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. Plus, if you're 65 or older or with underlying health conditions or you work with the public. Joe, Dr. Cogbill says the number of outbreaks has really gone down since the vaccine came around. Well, that's good to hear. Thank you, Marcus. Well, Riverside says anyone can visit their loved ones now as long as they haven't had any close contact with virus and they haven't or they aren't experiencing symptoms.